Welcome to the next installment of products we really like and recommend that you take a closer look at. Hi, I'm Bob Deeks with RDC Fine Homes and we're here to follow up on last month's video of the Vicor NVS self-sealing vapor permeable building wrap. Remember, the easiest way to save energy and to ensure a comfy house is to build it airtight. We have high expectations that the Vicor NVS building wrap will be our silver bullet to an airtight house. Richard Haywood from Canada Home Energy is now setting up the blower fan to depressurize the home so he can identify our leak points. As you can see, we're doing a preliminary air tightness test before we drywall so we can identify and easily fix any leaks. Doing a single test after the home is finished will limit your ability to improve the home's air tightness. As you can see, the fan is easily set up and will fit in almost any door configuration. All right, well, the blower is all set up. Richard Haywood from Canada Home Energy is ready to start our blower test. So let's get it going and see how we're doing. You bet. Richard starts by checking around the windows. He's using orange marking paint to show where he feels air movement. The corners of windows have been a typical problem area for us. Not only do we need to ensure we get a good seal around the window, but we also need to ensure that the window opening cut into our structurally insulated panel is also properly sealed. The Vicor NVS seems to have been very successful in sealing up around these problem spots. Here we see Richard checking the header over the window. This Paralam beam connects to the exterior of our building enclosure. Paralams typically are not very airtight. If the end is not entirely encased in the spray foam, it can result in an air leak. Here Richard observes some airflow. There is air leaking from the end of this beam. Richard's checking around the heels of the trusses. It can be difficult to make sure that the two pound spray foam gets in around all the nooks and crannies of the trusses at the wall juncture. As you can see, he's marking where he can feel air movement. We want to make sure we have proper consolidation of our spray foam, both to ensure we get a complete blanket of insulation and to achieve our air tightness. Our Vicor NVS has actually not been completed at this juncture between the structurally insulated panels and the sheeting covering the trusses. This highlights what a good job it seems to be doing where the installation is complete. Okay, this detail right here on the windows is always the worst spot I always find. And uh, what I get is air coming in these zones on a constant basis on all four corners of a window. With the uh, wrap on the outside right now, every window I've tested so far has had no air leakage at all. And yet I still have a bit of a gap right here. So that was great feedback from Richard from Canada Home Energy. He identified that some of our critical leak points around our windows and our outlets uh, are sealed up better than we've ever seen them before. Uh, he was reiterating on a previous project where he came in three times where we tried to get the windows properly sealed up and were unable to do it perfectly. And first time out with the Vicor NVS, uh, the window detailing is perfect. So we're getting what we were expecting. We've probably saved somewhere in the neighborhood of about $500 in detailing and we've gotten a better result. So we got what we wished for, a silver bullet for airtight net testing seems to be working out. We would highly recommend that you consider Vicor NVS as uh, the building wrap for your next project. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll get back with a final video on the finished house and let you know what the final blower test result was. Thanks again.